is our light. Nope. I had to do that because it was that bad. Okay. Nope, not wooden. He's a false god. Quick acknowledging false gods. All right, topic of the mess. Well, um, we're at Wednesday. Now, tomorrow is the 26th. That I'm May 26th. Alice, and looking through the glass, I'm telling y'all, y'all think that this is like some kind of innocent looking movie. No, it's not an innocent looking movie. Look, like I told y'all, uh, Alice stands for a large ion collider experiment that represents the ideal of CERN. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is not a game that they're playing with y'all. They're using these innocent movies for their, you know, way of of setting the trap against y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's for real. It's real stuff, real talk. And it's right, like I was doing more research on um, the Silver Gate. It's right n almost near the middle of the Silver Gate of when this movie is going to um, take place in the s middle of the Silver Gate that is on, like I said, between Gemini and Taurus. See, because y'all ain't not been looking at the Zodiac, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been, I guess, checking out, some of y'all been checking out horoscopes, but thing is, you know, the Zodiac is really God's calendar. Um, the thing is, we, you know, the church don't realize how, what put, predicament they have put themselves in, operating in this division and tradition and religious system. It's ugly what the position the church is in right now, that y'all are so ready for this trap that's going to spring, but those that, you know, know, have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you know, y'all going to be ready for attack. Y'all going to be ready to get, you know, the spiritual warfare for the kingdom of God, you know what I'm saying, is at hand, really. It's it's right now, it's time to uh, armor up. It's not time to get ready for war. And that's what really the topic of this video is all about. It's called the reality of are you at your battle station or are you at your PlayStation? You know what I'm saying? Thing is, look at this. I did a, a post on this on Facebook. But, you know, people are not really... This, this world system did a great job on you that you're not really serious about spiritual warfare. You don't think spiritual warfare is significant. Or you don't probably think spiritual warfare is the results of all these... Um, deaths going on in the world right now. I mean, the thing is, look, Satan comes like a roaring lion seeking he may devour. He's stealing and killing destroying. All this stuff, the wrong, bad things that are going on around us is the res is really the responsible of Satan, the god of this world's kingdom. It's blinding the minds of men in darkness and you know what I'm saying? Getting people to perform a bunch of nonsense that lead to the wages of sin is death. I mean, it is what it is. And but now this is not a game. It's it, you know the thing is uh, the ideal of the church and reason. And the reason, the main reason why Satan has all this dominion to be doing all this crazy stuff is because the reality of the so-called church system is you know uh, allowing him to do it as much as we operate incorrectly concerning the church system operating division and tradition and religion we are uh, no, we are none effect to really come against the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of God at all and we don't and people don't realize to what extent I mean let you know uh, what's going on around you speak for itself you know what I'm saying? Let the deaths going on, the sin that is going on, the evil that's happening in this world speak for itself concerning how much Satan has a hold of this world, of this earth. You know what I'm saying? That Paul is talking about the God of this world. But it's time for the light to shine bright. It's time for the light to get in battle stations. Stop. Get rid of the PlayStation. Get rid of the destroy your stupid PlayStation of playing games with God. You know what I'm saying? This is a war. This is a serious war 
with serious weapons that is trying to get people either to heaven or hell. This is you have in, you you are in a serious war. You know, I was talking to a, a couple at the laundry mat, reminding him that you know you know that movie that everybody's like you know going da 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 do da da do da da you know living my everyday life and all of a sudden, boom. You know, something happens. This is the reality of what's being prepared and being planned for. This is the sneak attack that darkness is getting ready for. Now, look, I, it may not happen tomorrow, but it's eventually going to happen. You know what I'm saying? In this summer, you know what I'm saying? It's going to happen, definitely. I can guarantee that, that it's going to happen. Um about uh, what the kingdom of darkness is doing concerning CERN and concerning the fallen angels, concerning really the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness, spiritual within high places, are going to reveal themselves in a mighty stronger way. And it's going to, you, the world is not going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's only time for battle stations battle stations your battle station i'm telling you right now is really fellowship fellowship in the word of god your fellowship is going to determine of what kind of battle station you really desire to be on you can fellowship with the light or you can fellowship with darkness you know what i'm saying your fellowship and how you talk to your brothers and sisters and how we come in in one accord with god's word one accord with the truth of God's word, you know what I'm saying, is determining your battle station, you know what I'm saying, not not what what you say, but what you do, because the kingdom of God is not in word, but it's in power, it's in, power means dunamis, it's what you do, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing right now is about what kingdom that you're all about being about to get in battle station. Because this is going to get for real. You know what I'm saying? They've been planning for this plot for a long time. This what's going on concerning the Silvergate. You know, uh, it's right underneath. Underneath, uh, I mean, it's right. Yeah, it's above Orion. You know, and above and, and Lupus, whatever that rabbit name is under Orion. And that rabbit represented the white rabbit that... Alice was chasing in the bunny hole. You know what I'm saying? That they are point, you know, utilizing cartoons, the subliminal y'all mind, thinking that they're talking about something innocent, but really they're talking about something for real that's all about enslaving the world, enslaving the people y'all into a new world order. These people are not playing games. They don't care less about you. And the thing is, look, if you want to get on that PlayStation, that means, you know, fellowshipping with darkness and be about a bunch of nonsense talking about, you know, meaningless stuff that's concerning the things of the world and stuff like that. That's PlayStation, bro. You're talking, your main topic is about sports and entertainment and things that put politics. <laughs> that's pretty game PlayStation right there. I mean, it's kind of like the metaphor, you know, uh, the you know game you know putting the game inside the place station you know, politics whatever uh, you know games sports and uh, entertainment what's going on around you nonsense around you you know what I'm saying these are the games uh, cartridges that you're putting in there and you playing with it do you need to destroy this game you need to get rid of this game PlayStation destroy it you know what I'm saying throw it away and start getting into your battle stations because it's time for the kingdom of light to shine bright than it ever been before because the dark because pretty much um uh what's, what's oh the first Thessalonians and five is what hap is gonna happen very soon. So y'all better get ready to be a part of the light. You know what I'm saying? The children of the light, the children of the day. You need if you need to get in one accord with the Word of God, fellowship in the Word of God, being with people the Word of God, praying with, following the instructions of First Thessalonians that Paul encouraged every brother to read to you know the saints, following these instructions, you need to do that. What Paul says in First Thessalonians five, 
and the whole chapter. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is to get ready and prepare for war because that's what we're supposed to get ready for. Not so much the rapture. The rapture is coming, but it's time to get ready for war. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, people just don't understand to what extent this thing is really happening. But you will find out when the portal opens. Now, I'm not sure that this portal might open tomorrow. But, you know, eventually tomorrow, all of, but I know it's tomorrow through all the way through the um, summer solstice, wherever this summer solstice is. You know what I'm saying? Through that time period, that portal can open at near that time period because that's where all the sacrifices that I told you about, you know, was made towards uh, that guy, you know, Will Smith, the, uh, you know, defensive end on New Orleans Saints and to Prince. And then how they do it is Prince William and Prince William uh, and the England Prince William, his birthday is on near the uh, summer solstice. That's what they look at it to get ready and get prepared for what is happening, and it's crazy. I know it's going. I know this is some far-fetched information I'm giving you, but this is what they've been hiding. They've been hiding the uh, Egypt, you know, secrets of what's going on. Like I told you that you know, the White House represents ISIS, and the uh, Osiris represents the Washington Monument. Um. They, uh, I'll shout, shout out to that, my dude that did the videos of uh, Secrets in Plain Sight, Scott. Um, I hope that you look at that video. Um, he did recently talking about that the measurements around the country, uh, in the United States and in San Francisco and other places, other measurements of you know ISIS and Osiris concerning the sun and moon worship that this country is worshiping. I've been worshiping for a long time, Isis and Osiris, but y'all just didn't, you know, put it all together concerning Uncle Sam and Lady Liberty. Yeah, they they know they use these clevers because this what the you know Freemasons and Illuminati cleverly you know trick most of y'all about this system that is all about you know bringing forth and waiting for the Phoenix to get. And you know the uh, silver gate, and waiting for Satan to come down and really do some terror, doing some stuff. But this, the Bible says that this was going to happen, and we need to get ready and prepare for war, the kingdom of light, and get ready to shine and bright because it's going down. And you know, I again, I'm ready. I put, I'm on my Facebook. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. You know what I'm saying? I'm the kingdom of God is at hand. It's time for the warriors that's going to war. They're ready for war. You know what I'm saying? The ministers of Christ in 2 Corinthians 6. You know what I'm saying? And in uh, uh, Isaiah 61, you know, it's time for the ministers to get ready for war. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom of heaven suffer with violence and the violence take it by force. It's time for us to reign supreme over this world in the name of Christ Jesus, in the name of the Lord. See, what people don't understand, this is going to proceed that uh, whosoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. See what I'm saying? That was prophesied by Joel and Peter. You know what I'm saying? What I'm talking about, we will have victory over the enemy, but those that are of the light will have victory. Those that are darkness will suffer defeat and will be consumed about the dark plan, sinister plan that the Bible talks about. I talk about the evil day. Jesus talked about the evil day in Matthew 6, 6, 34 and Paul talks about it in Ephesians 6 and 13 about the evil day is what I'm talking about. So I hope I, this message is going to wake you up and get off your PlayStation, destroy the PlayStation, and get into Battle Station and praise and worship. Mainly praise, you know what I'm saying, to get ready for Battle Station against the war against the devil, which will end up in victory over the, 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 the,
enemy. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory. Here from and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Get ready for war. Battle stations. Not PlayStation.